All right, in today's lesson, we're going to learn some more about the constant of proportionality. So today's goals, I can find missing information in a proportional relationship using a table, and I can find the constant of proportionality from the information given in a table. So there's a proportional relationship when you look at any volume measured in ounces and that same volume measured in cups, because there are always eight ounces in one cup. Using this information, I would like you to complete the table. All right, I hope your table looks like this. Using that information in your table, what is the constant of proportionality? So remember that this constant of proportionality, it tells you the relationship between these variables. What do you multiply the numbers in the first column by to get those values in the second column? Right, I hope you determined it was eight because the number of cups times eight equals the number of ounces. You can always divide to get that constant of proportionality. All right, now I'd like you to look the other direction. If I give you the volume in ounces, can you give me the volume in cups? Take a few moments and complete this table. All right, I hope it looks like this. One, then three, four and a half, six and a quarter. It's fine if you use fractions or decimals. Could you find the constant of proportionality in this case? All right, I hope that you answered. Okay, I hope that you answer that the constant of proportionality is one eighth because the number of ounces times one eighth equals the number of cups. In a note to you, one eighth is equivalent to 0.125, so that's also an acceptable answer. And to get that, you can just divide the values on the right column by those on the left. So three divided by 24 will give you that 0.125 or that one eighth. So fill in these blanks. To convert from cups to ounces, you can multiply by what? And to get from ounces to cups, you can divide by a certain number or multiply by something else. Go ahead and fill in your blanks. Did you come up with, to go from cups to ounces, you would multiply by eight? And from ounces to cups, you can divide by eight or you can multiply by one eight. This should look a little familiar to our similarity unit. How are these two constants of proportionality related to each other? Ah, once again, they are reciprocals. All right, so just go ahead and review your goals, really thinking about that constant of proportionality today.